hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be reviewing the samsung galaxy z fold 4. the z fold is about two years old now because this is 2024 and it was released in 2022 um yeah 2022 we got the z fold 5 uh, in 2023 okay but it's still a great device i got some great things to show you you know when it comes to um productivity F for me, no smartphone beats the, the foldables. Yes, it's best in productivity, and that is actually one of the reasons why I got this phone. It's beautiful, best in productivity, and best in software. Oh, I forgot the um, it's no longer the best anyway. The Z Fold 5 is actually out, and there are better looking foldables as far as I'm concerned, um, in terms of design, but this gives the best software experience and um, by this I mean the um, Samsung folds um, you know Techno Phantom fold is doing great Google is doing great OnePlus is doing great as well Z Fold 4 was a big deal in 2023 so slimmer the cover screen got a little wider giving you a wide display measuring like 7.6 inches diagonally and then it had this on the display camera great great stuff how are they able to hide that stuff underneath the screen i'll talk about it um as the video progresses and then the rear cameras snapped photos that will make your instagram followers jealous right um let's be real some things held this phone back the crease oh my god the crease um the crease is still noticeable although there are some foldables that have been able to like hide this crease of other smartphone companies anyway not samsung because even up to the um fold 5 the crease is still there and the design is still familiar like unchanged right now they improved the crease from the fold 3 right but the crease is still there and it aches me a lot it opens straight flat compared to the fold 3 which um, is an impressive improvement to problem is that it doesn't really close completely but they later got to fix this in the fold 5 so it looks like um, they're really listening to us I know a lot of complaints went to them and and they listened aside that um they by they i mean samsung right they haven't given us any design overhaul it's been the same old design from the fold 3 to fold 4 to fold 5 that's why i would encourage anyone to upgrade to um the fold 4 sorry it from the fold 4 to fold 5 in a hurry because they are so similar the design language is still very beautiful regardless um you know when you create something and like you look at it all around you you say to yourself perfecto like there is nothing else to add nothing to remove i think that's what's happening with um samsung there is still a lot more um about the galaxy z fold 4 that i've yet to unfold pun intended <laughs> Um, there is a 4400 mAh hour battery inside this thing which is not too bad 12 gigs of RAM everything would literally be flying <laughs> with that amount of RAM for a smartphone and the processor is Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 same processor that the Galaxy S22 series came with um, 50 megapixel camera and what's interesting the under display selfie camera how do you have a phone with a selfie camera and you can't even see the selfie camera unless you tilt the phone to um kind of angle before you'll be able to find it it's incredible but the selfie camera doesn't really give um that good quality especially when you're doing like a video call or a zoom call or something like that um, it's not really up there compared to like the um, ultra phones and um, the iphone it's not really up there but it's just okay i mean 
then you can also take selfie photos with the back camera which is one great hack that the um fold 4 um gives us i mean you take a selfie and you can do this by yourself right and it looks like um, the selfie camera is so great but no one would know that you used the rear camera to do that um the pics are great that's the pics from the rear camera um i got these ones from instagram uh, i couldn't really take personal pictures so these are what um the pictures from the fold 4 look like Um, over here a lot of people buy the Z Fold 4 and probably the Fold 5 in fact foldables in general just to show off and I think I understand with them though starting price when it launched was a little close to $1800 and when you convert that to my country's currency you'd be dazzled I didn't get one to show off though I'd rather have the um, Z Fold for the productivity and large room in terms of screen that they come with and yeah they are very beautiful actually you'll find the build of this thing very solid especially like i love the design come on especially those um the colors that have the gold or silver rim um the rims and the sides now i, I filmed this video like last year's december yeah and <laughs> I'm kind of making a confession now and yeah I just didn't I was in a rush in fact I didn't want to put out this video eventually but I checked my um, archives and I'm like okay let me actually do a revisit um, for the Z Fold then I didn't have enough clips because I mean I didn't really want to um, I started making a video but I was like ah, nah I'm not putting this out so yeah I now that I'm serious with releasing the video, um, I felt like, let me just substitute. Let me just get clips from the internet and substitute, right? That's why most of the bureau clips are not going to be mine. All right. For durability testing, um, it's one thing we cannot escape. The Z Fold 4, when you hold it in your, ha in your hand, it's one very delicate phone it looks premium it screams um eliteness if there's any word like that and so um, big man big problem so if you buy the z fold you should know that this screen is gonna cost you a fortune um to replace if it got damaged or broken now i think my this is gonna be the most sincere Z Fold 4 review you'd ever see on the internet in terms of durability. After like one year of use, you can see my broken screen, <laughs> right? Yeah, my screen broke and I haven't really fixed it. Why? Because it costs a fortune. I'm like, let me keep managing it until um, I get tired of carrying something like this about and it's either I fix the screen or I trade it off and get a replacement if I'm still interested in using foldables anyway then um, compared to the Fold 5 I think they are in the same shoes basically they are like beds of the same feather like if you get your screen damaged you dance to the music so these are some of the cons associated with getting these flagship phones if you don't have the money for maintenance don't get them it's just like buying a car if you don't have money for um maintaining the car fueling the car it's best you don't even try it right so should you get the z fold 4 in 2024 if you want a top tier foldable for a potentially better price the Z Fold 4 is still a fantastic choice considering that the price would have dropped by now compared to what it started with and it's also powerful the display is gorgeous the cameras are no slouches 
but hey if you gotta have the absolute latest tech and that cruise <laughs> simply can't exist in your life then the z fold 5 uh, might be your best option although it still has a cruise but i mean they keep getting better at this cruise thing as the years go by so i think finally the cruise might disappear um but we will wait until maybe probably the Z Fold 6 um, would be creaseless. I, I still think that's impossible. I don't think it's, it's that easy to like completely eradicate the crease. Um, but before you fold out of this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button um, and hit that notification bell like it owes you some money. And we'll be diving deep into um xiaomi 14 ultra in my next video where i'll be talking about the interesting anti-shake video stabilization that this amazing device has let me know in the comments um, below which foldable you are most excited about and until the next time stay tech savvy my friends and stay subscribed my name is Paris. bye for now